your body and turn it into little pieces. I'll have the evidence and act like everything's fine. I take your body and turn it into little pieces. I'll have the evidence and act like everything's fine. It's back. It's back. It's back. Sharknado is is back. Um, so today I will be looking at Sharknado 2, the second one. Last year, Shark Sharknado was one of the yes biggest internet sensations. Um, it it you know was all over social media and stuff like that, and it got got a lot of press. Um, so then obviously there was going to be be a second one, and that second one premiered not. Not too long ago, on the Sci-Fi Network again. This was a Sci-Fi original film with with uh, help help from the uh, Asylum people, um, which produces a lot of cheesy films, good films too. Um, anyway, so the storyline to this one is Finn and his uh, ex-wife, who may or may not be getting back together. I guess um, they are flying to uh, New York City to visit his his family, and and as soon as they they're on the plane, the sharks begin to fly. This film does not hesitate or like waits wait for the sharks sharks to start showing up. The first scene, it's seems like it's it's a dream because um cause you're thinking the sharks can't can't come that fast it's just a dream they're on an airplane and those sharks attacking them and you're thinking yeah, it's yeah this is probably a dream it's not that's how the actual movie starts um so the uh finn successfully lands lands the plane because like the you know the captain dies the co-captain dies a lot of people died, but Finn successfully lands the plane, and he and he starts warning people again about a shark, Sharknado. Um, this this film is filled with cameos, and it also is like um uh, uh I think it's Good Morning uh, America, you know the Show show with uh, Gumball and that other guy. Wherever that show is, that they, they uh, keep on keep on showing like uh, reports on them, and um, and we soon find out that there's two Sharknados that that are meeting up in the middle of uh, New York City. So like Finn Finn has to think think of another way to like stop it. Um, and then, and he gets his uh, family to kind of help out. Really, his uh, brother-in-law helps out. Uh, Finn's uh, nephew kind of helps out a little bit. And friends, Finn's uh, friend, played by Vivica A. Fox, uh, who is who wants to be more than just friends because they used to date apparently. But Finn's all like, "No, sorry." I'm with uh, her Reed again, blah blah blah. Anyway, she she uh, helps out quite a bit to to take down the the uh, Sharknados. And um, so yes, that's yeah, that's yeah, it's, that's basically the film uh, stopping Sharknados. Um, but overall, this film is better. Than the original, um, it's this one is just non-stop. You know, the uh, first one had a lot more story to it, and it kind of build up and kind of background story, kind of compared to this one. This one's just non-stop shark action. Um, it's it plays like some some zombie films, which like start off as as soon as the film starts and ends, and it's like 90 minutes later. 
and you can breathe. That's how this film is. It's it's nonstop. It's great. Another awesome thing is a uh, is a uh, Tiffany Shepitz from I guess you could say B movie screen queen screen queen fame uh, actually has kind of a kind of a good good role in this film. I mean, she she still gets killed, but it's still kind of cool to see her in a. Not a major motion picture, but like a film that that's pretty popular. Uh, I got over or just just under four million views, and for like a a cable TV movie, that's that's really good. That's like great, and this has like been it was like a trending Twitter thing or whatever, four bajillion tweets about it. Um, yeah, it, it's, there's tons of cameos, so there's, so, so there's some fun in that, and I'm sure there's some people that I just did not recognize, because I think there's, like, a lot of, like, reality TV stars in it, especially the first, like, airplane scene that I just don't know who they are, because they showed some people that seemed like the audience was, like, supposed to say, oh, sh uh oh, check that out, that's, that's that guy from, like, who wants to be a beanbag or something? But I just don't watch enough reality TV to know what that is. Anyways, so yeah, so yeah, if if you like the first one, you're gonna love this one. There's some great stuff and there's some great kills. There's there's this amazing scene where like a uh, fan rise, uh, raises up this chainsaw and just cuts this uh, shark just in half from like from like his nose to, to like his uh, back fan he just saws it in half it's great uh, there's this other scene where uh, like Nathan Lane's cameo appearance uh, he uh, has this he has this baseball bat and he kind of swings at this shark at the uh, Met Stadium and like the shark goes goes flying across and like hits hits the uh, the uh, scoreboard. It's great. Um, there's, there's so much good stuff in this film. Um, the one thing that this this isn't really a spoiler. I guess it could be. So if you want to skip like thirty seconds, that's cool. I'm not gonna you know have a little warning thing. Cause it's not much of a spoiler anyway. In the very beginning, Tara Reid loses her uh, hand by, by this shark. And she thinks it's the same shark that, like, Finn uh, cut himself through at, uh, at the end of the first film. Because she says that, like, the shark uh, had this scar and it was just, like, as if the shark was, like, going after her for, like, revenge reasons. Anyway, so, like, I thought that Finn and the shark was going to have this big showdown. No, the shark does show up again. It's just kind of like Terry kills it. But you don't get the sense that the shark's going going for uh, revenge. It's just kind of coincidentally the same shark now. I thought that would have been a little bit cooler is if the shark did actually have revenge sit on his mind and he came back, back from the dead and, like, like, I guess he sewed himself back up and, like, you know, started a, a whole new Sharknado. He got his shark friends to say, hey, hey guys, we gotta go to New York City because Finn's over there and he did this to me. Uh, that didn't happen, but that's so cool. Maybe the third one? Anyways, uh, Sharknado 3 will be coming out. Hyped about that one. I don't know if it's going to be, be as good. It seems like it's going to be tough to top this one for a Sharknado film. I was very pleased with this film. And the uh, acting... Acting in these films are actually pretty good. Uh, it's corny when, when it has to be corny. And it's, and it's like... Good acting when, when it has to be good. 
And so this just a, just just a fun film. And I will rate this eight out of ten killer sharks. All right, see you guys next time.